When you think about handling incoming SNMP traps, you probably think about a large-scale traditional SNMP manager. And while it's true that that's a great way to deal with SNMP traps and it's generally something you're never going to be without, there's actually a lot of value you can gain by having SNMP traps processed at the RTU level. If you consider what you might do with this NetGuardian LTG2 if it could receive SNMP traps, well now you can process them and trigger email notifications, you can latch a relay if you need to report to a system that demands a control relay latch, you can even launder SNMP, so to speak, for security reasons. So you take SNMP on a really short hop inside a facility, and then you convert that SNMP into a more secure SNMP v3 trap out of the NetGuardian. So all these things are possible if you can process SNMP at the RTU level. So let's take a look at how we would set that up. As always, you go to the green provisioning section, and then go to SNMP alarms. If you're familiar with the trap relay line of RTUs, that was the first place where this functionality was added, but now it's been added to this NetGuardian LT, which is a more standard RTU. It's small scale, and it's got a dialer built in, and it's going to be making its way across a lot of the NetGuardian models. So if you have one in particular that you'd like to see this on, certainly contact DPS. You'll see that for each of the SNMP alarms, I can add a set and a clear trap OID all the way down to variable bindings, if I so choose, and these will trigger a set and a clear. You can see I have one in here for camera motion detected, so this is a, an external camera that is sending out SNMP traps when it has a motion detected event, and my RT would receive this, and you can see I have it tied into notification device three, so I could trigger an email, or I could send a text message, I can do a variety of things using this NetGuardian LT. I can also dial out because this is a dialer RTU. And for the UPS low battery, it's basically the same thing, slightly different OID. One thing that's very cool here is if you have an SNMP trap that doesn't really have a clear, it just sends a trap every time an event happens and it doesn't really send a clear state to clear it, you don't want your NetGuardian LT alarm to sit active all the time. You want it to set and then probably auto clear. Well, you can do that. So if we use this camera motion detected as one example, because that one could conceivably be an, a camera that sends a trap just when the motion occurs and it doesn't bother sending a clear. It just lets you know there's motion. And then after a few more seconds, if there's still motion, hey, there's motion again. So to do that, we would simply configure the set and the clear exactly the same. And the beauty of that is the LT will set it and then immediately clear it. But it exists for just long enough that that's going to trigger a notification. So in that respect, you get a notification on every inbound set trap, but you don't need to worry about a clear. It will auto-clear instantly after it sends that notification. If you'd like to learn more about processing SNMP traps at the NetGuardian RTU level, give DPS a call at 1-800-693-0351.